The University of Iowa Libraries is continuing to keep the exhibit, making the book past and present relevant. DITV's Ryan Lynch followed up with the latest programming for the exhibit. Dr. Suzanne Karschmidt was invited to the university to talk about some of the books in the exhibit and how some segments were censored for going against some of the ideals of the societies of their time. And someone is being told to censor something and they don't, they don't do it fully. So you can still see that this was the directive, but you can, you can, still, read the, you can still read it. The talk presented a new perspective toward the exhibit and its books, such as the Nuremberg Chronicle and how their accounts of history led to censorship. It is uh, full of censorship because literally every uh, mention of the Pope in there has been uh, crossed out. So clearly someone, um, probably in England uh, post-Reformation, had gone through and, and just taken a, a hard pen and crossed out every mention of the Pope in there. A variety of factors contribute to censoring literature, whether in the 15th century or in the 21st. Books are being censored today. It's crazy that it happened so long ago. People censoring it because of like the law or like the people in charge, but like the people who actually own the books still wanted to read them. These old books provide much insight into history from the documentation they contain to how the practice of censoring has been going on for ages. From the main library, Ryan Lynch, DI TV.